Hi and welcome to your Go Market Update for today, Wednesday, the 12th of October 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Go Markets here with your daily wrap of what's happening in markets now and what could happen going forward. Let's have a look at what's come across the news. We saw US equities weak again, very whipsaw type of session. Growth stocks suffered big time. The Nasdaq was underperforming. Defensive stocks did okay. Uh, so we're seeing some rotation into those sectors. Uh, and they really held market to small losses on the Dow and the S&P 500, which were up significantly in the middle part of the session. Inflation data and US earnings, both an issue in the next 48 hours, will be on market minds. That's how I've seen significant caution. We also saw the IMF downgrade global economies, uh, not surprisingly, as the US futures turn positive in Asian trading. Asian indices are coarsely trading near neutral. The ASX is outperforming a little, up 0.2% financials outperforming today. For a change, European equity futures are pointing to a mildly lower open, recovering to some degree. In the FX front, the US dollar index continues to edge higher on the back of expectations from those FOMC minutes that are out tonight and continued inflation inflationary pressures. It is near neutral today, just slightly to the upside when we last looked. Gold continues to sell off on that USD strength and breached that 1675 key level. Uh, now looks as though 1650 could be on the cards. All paused at support after that recent test of $100, just seen it pull back the previous two days. Copper does appear to be holding 340. And if you need a market gauge in terms of where things are at now, the VIX over 30 and at the highest level since June is a good indicator about how markets are feeling right now. In the crypto space, we saw Bitcoin drift downwards. We discussed this yesterday and we see a test of 18,600 support being possible just around the 19,000 level right now. We've got US FOMC minutes and on top of that, we've got some PPI data and these may move markets as well. We've got a lot of data coming out of the UK today. We've got industrial production, manufacturing production, but GDP is the highlight. And of course, as I keep on emphasising, inflation data and earnings season kickoff are the two major market chatter points today. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. And we referenced some strength in financials today. And you can see ANZ reflecting that. We did have a test of the 200 EMA last week, but a failed attempt to break through it and a bit of a retracement. Looks as though we're shaping up again to test that level. Should we break this as a fairly healthy move up, possibly into the $25 level region and possibly beyond? The max, I would say, in any sort of short term run will be up around this $25.78. But in the long term, this could represent some value. And that's, I think, what the market's seeing today. In the FX front, the Aussie Yen is of interest. I've got a couple of lines put on here. The first one down at 91.10, let's just say 91 cents, is where the 200 EMA is sitting. We saw a test of that yesterday, and we've seen a little move downwards today again as we decide whether we're going to breach that. You can just sort of see there, we did have a little peak at just over 92, and this could give us a little marker if we should break 91.61, then that move up around about 50 pips to test yesterday's high could be on the cards. You can see it also, just move the crosshairs along there, was a key level on the previous day as well. So one to watch perhaps, and again, possibly in the long term, that may be one. Once this key data is out of the next couple of days, that could be one to have a look at. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.